Hello, my fourth grade friends. This is Mrs. Smith. Today we are doing Unit 2, Lesson 16. So, uh, today we're applying everything we've done before, but we're adding in the concept of multiplying by thousands. So, it's just like everything else. It's just a new place value. Nothing crazy is going on here. It says here that you can multiply you can use a model to multiply greater numbers. Notice that each one of the smaller rectangles in this model represents 1,000. Each of the columns represents seven one thousands or 7,000. See right here, there's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. The seven one thousands, this is 7,000, three times, or across this way here, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. This is 3,000 seven times, right? So, seven times 3,000. If we decompose that 3,000 into three times 1,000, then we can use the associative property and do this part first. Seven times three, which is 21, times that 1,000. So 21 times 1,000 is 21 thousands, right? So it's pretty much the same as when we learned how to apply this to hundreds and even tens. We're just scooching everything over by place value. All right, number one, when multiplying by thousands, how many zeros can you expect in the product? Now, because the number 1,000 has three zeros, I wanna say three, but then I had a thought. What about if you're doing something like 5 times 8,000, right? What is 5 times 8? 40. So 5 times 8,000 is going to be 40 with those three zeros, which means I don't only want to expect three zeros. I want to expect at least three zeros. So at least three zeros. Okay, number two. How does thinking of 3,000 as three times 1,000 help you multiply seven times 3,000? What do you think? Write down what you think and then um, when you're ready, you can see what I wrote, okay? I think, I'm just thinking of 3,000 as 3 times 1,000 help you to multiply 3 times 3,000. It is easier to multiply 7 times 3 first than multiply 21 by 1,000. Okay, now it says to draw a model for four times 8,000 and find the product. So, right here. Four, and then 8,000, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Writing that into four. One thousand, one thousand, one thousand, one thousand, one thousand, one thousand, one thousand. So here is four thousand eight times, right? Or it could have eight thousand four times. So eight thousand plus eight thousand plus eight thousand. Plus 8,000. What's 8 plus 8? 16, right? Here, I'll see. 8 times 8 is, or 8 plus 8 is 16. 
And 8 plus 8 is 16. What's 16 plus 16? Well, 6 plus 6 is 12. So that joins, that 10 joins the, I should say 10,000, right? Joins the 10,000th place. So then it's 32,000, right? You could also think 4 times 8,000 equals 4 times 8 times 1,000, which equals 32 times 1,000, which equals 32,000. All right. Nothing really new here, just including the thousands place. Now, we're going to compare some multiplication methods. You can use the multiplication methods you have learned to multiply a one-digit number times a four-digit number. So just as we've done before, a thousand times it seems. So we're breaking up the number 3,248 into 3,240 and 8, and we're multiplying that by 8. So first, let's do the 8 times 3,000. What's 8 times 3? 24. 8 times 3,000 is then 24,000. What's 8 times 2? 16, so 8 times 200 is 1,600. What's 8 times 4? 32, so 8 times 4 tens is 32 tens, or 320. What's 8 times 8? 64. So this is just with the area model, and then we would add all these up. Let's place, section, place value sections method, right? We did all those things, now we're going to add them up. We get 20. 5,984. If you wrote it out in expanded notation form, uh, just like that, it's the same thing. You'd get the same number. With the algebraic notation method, we're having our 8 times our 3,000, our 8 times our 200, our 8 times our 40, our 8 times our 8. Just like that. Is anything different? Not really, just the, you're doing it more sideways, I guess, than that way. I do find adding things like this in vertical method to be a lot easier than trying to add things in this sideways method. I think it's a little tricky. All right, now we're gonna give it a shot. Go ahead and grab your math board. And we're gonna start with 3 times 8,153. And I'd like you to do this first one with me, even if you're feeling pretty good about it, okay? So let's do this one together. Draw out your big old rectangle. 3 times 8,100. Oopsie, not 1,100. 50 and 3. So 3 times 8 is what? We just did that up here. 3 times 8, 24. So 24,000. 3 times 100. What? 100, that's right. 3 times 50. 3 times 5 is 15. So 3 times 5 tens is 15 tens, or 150. And 3 times 3 is nine. So then we add all those up. Let's do 24,100, lining things up by the place value, 150 and nine. Nine, five, two, four, two. 24,259. And let's write that down. Okay, if you're up for it, you can try this next one on your own and then check and see what I wrote, okay? If you'd like to do it with me though, let's get started. Okay, 
So four on this side, 2,961. Four times one, four. Four times six, oops, I, sorry, I didn't realize that was up there. Four times six is 24, so four times 60 is 24 tenths, 240. Four times nine is what? 36, so 3,600 with two zeros. And then four times two is eight, so four times 2,000 is 8,000. So then we'll add those up, 8,000. Three, zero, zero, two, four, zero, four, 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 eight, and eleven. Eleven thousand eight hundred forty four. And if you think about it, this number here is super close to three thousand, right? So would it make sense for four times almost 3,000 to be almost 12,000? I think so. And it's always important that you're paying attention and thinking about that sort of thing. All right, go ahead. Even if you're feeling a little nervous, give six a shot. When you're ready to do it with me, I'm going to jump into it, okay? You ready? Number six is... Six times five thousand plus two hundred plus eighty plus seven. Six times five is thirty. Now this is what I was talking about before. We have that zero here. It doesn't count for one of these zeros for being in the thousands place. So thirty thousand. Six times two. 12, six times 200 is 1,200. Six times eight is 48. Six times eight tens is 48 tens, 480. And six times seven is 42. I almost wrote something wrong. 42. So 30,000, 1,200. 480 and 42, two, my plus sign. Eight plus four is what? 12. Two plus four plus one is seven, one and three. So 31,722. All right, last one on this page. I would love for you to give it a shot. See if you're able to do it on your own before I leave you. Let's see. Seven times 1,700. 30, three. So seven times 1,000 is 7,000. Seven times 700, well seven times seven is 49, so 4,900, 4,900. Seven times three is 21, so 21 tens, 210. And seven times three again is 21. So 7,000. 4,900, 210, 21. Very careful to line up all your place value. That's where you can really mess it up. One, three, uh, 11. And that's also 11, so plus one more is 12. 12,000, um, 131. Okay, alrighty. That place value sections method is so neat. Go ahead and check and see if you have an assignment, and I'll see you next time, my friends. Nice job. All right, bye. -bye.